All right, I think we can all agree that that was an amazing, beautiful opening animation, especially for something that came out back in like 2000, what, 2006? Nearly 20 years ago on the PS3. Sure, it's been modded to uh, an upscaled graphics for the PC, but still, it's, it's very impressive graphically. I was wondering why my controller was not working. I guess I have to change the settings here. Oh. Does not like it when I hit the escape key, but I'm used to that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have played this before. It's been it's been years since I've played this. I have not completed it. I made it up to like I think the halfway point? Definitely past the halfway point. To the point where um the world opened up. Like, uh what was it, cocoon? Or like we left cocoon or something like that? It became a little bit more open world. And then yeah, I stopped for I don't remember why I stopped. But yeah. I want to do a let's play video. I want to play through this again and maybe give some commentary. Just for fun. And uh yeah, let's let's get it started. Normal mode, normal mode for battles. Sure. I'm a hardcore gamer. Easy. Thirteen days. Final Fantasy Thirteen. Oh, I do remember. Yeah, there's like a little diary that you get that fills in the thirteen days. I thought that was pretty cool. Noise. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe this came out on the PS3. That is beautiful. Civilians have guns out of them.
This is wild. I'm not even sure what's happening right now. What portal summoning with mechanical monsters? That look like demons from hell. First battle, I think. Specific attack takes up a certain amount of ATP gauges. Next, you need to choose the target. Simple enough. Alright. So, this is just an auto battle. I only know how to. Hmm. Let's try Blitz. Let's do Blitz again. Targets. Man, I think that's a multi attack. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Not done yet. Uh, oh, yeah. um. uh. Okay, so I hit auto battle, but it's not auto. I have to con pass the piece of the So it's not really auto battle, it's just uh chooses the uh, commands that it thinks it's best. Oh shoot, I was not even paying attention. Oh, oh Yeah, we were about to die on the tutorial class, holy moly. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, that was that was close. Do you think I, I probably could have got a five star on that if I wasn't <laughs> being stupid? Oh wow, that's six potions off of that. That's that's a lot. Ah! 
Oh, goodness. なんで<笑> Hanging edge, the restricted zone. All right. All right. The game is started. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Let's change my y-axis. Data log. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Autonomously streams information deemed pertinent. Whenever the data log records a new entry, a notice will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. The Uru's entry is best triangle to open the menu and select data log. Right. Let's see. Events, Chapter 1 The Fires of Fate. Alright, Lightning and Saz are held aboard a military purge train, along with a group of civilians destined for exile. In stark contrast to the uncertain and despairing people around her, Lightning appears determined and focused. She seizes upon an instant of inattention to disable a guard, and her impressive display inspires Saz and the other civilians to take up arms against the soldiers. After clashing with the army forces, the train crashes to a halt in the war-torn district known as the Hanging Edge. Saz attempts to figure out Lightning's angle, but she shows little desire to share. The former soldier, sh uh, former soldier throws herself into battle without the slightest hint of hesitation. What could be driving her? Good question. Okay, and this is just uh, auto battle, battle results. What do you get for a better rating? Points per second. Alright, Lightning's just better at than Saz in every way. <laughs> Abilities. Alright. Saz doesn't know how to fight yet. That's alright. Alright, nothing's back here. Alright, let's escape. Let's get out of here. Always remember to save. Always remember to save, everyone. Alright, many enemies will stop on the roads that you must trap. Just, uh, yeah, just beat them up. <laughs> beat the snot out of them. Oh, my control is kind of wonky. Oh, uh, yeah, auto battle. <laughs> Alright, yeah. It's, this game kind of plays itself. At least in the beginning. What did I get? One potion. There's nothing I can do to do a preemptive strike, so I just, I literally just walk up to them and I'll initiate the battle. I've been playing a lot of Star Rail, so I, I was, I got, I got used to that thing anyway, where you just like, you attack them to initiate the battle and give you an advantage. I guess you can't do that in this game. There's no advantage or disadvantage, you just fight. Right. 
you heal? Like it heals you after every battle or not? Yeah, so I guess you only need to use um, your... Uh, uh, you, you only use items during battle. Because you're fully, your health is fully healed after every battle. Or I could be wrong. Or I, I don't really... I wasn't paying attention. Got a potion. Ikura Paji got Yada Kante. She wrote a good day to Tatakana. Gunyori, Paraso, So Pulse is a bad place. Kokomo Sonani Kavaranze. Kainara Sarita Gunyoda. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, and yeah, this is the multi target. Staggering, okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I do remember the gameplay being a lot more fun later on. Guess we'll get there eventually. Wicked Fang. I guess there was some like crafting thing you could do, but I never really paid attention to it. Maybe I will this time around. Shop. Unicorn Mart. Oh, that's a cute name. I have 19 potions. I don't like not using any of them. You know what? Let's sell them. I want myself two. That might that might have been a mistake. <laughs> Maybe I might need need them later. Oh well. Uh no. Just... That's one thing that I'm, that kind of annoys me a bit when games the default selection is to create a new save file. So if you're just like clicking really fast, you're gonna create another new save file when you wanted to just overwrite the previous one. And you might do that over and over and you end up with like five new save files that are not exactly easy to delete. You might need to go to a different menu to delete them. It gets a little annoying. Yeah, there's, there's little to no difficulty. As long as you keep pressing X, you should not die. <laughs> you should not lose a single fight. Alright. 50 whole kill? That's great. I can buy like a potion with that. Psycon Warden. Yeah, this game just hands out potions like crazy. Yeah, 
I might need to get a new controller or something. Something's up with uh, my movement. Okay, <laughs> now it teaches us to use items. What the hell? Alright. Oh, whenever HP begins to run low, you can heal yourself using items. Sure. Looks like you have some potions. Why am I using. This game is forcing me to use a potion with my full health. What a waste. Okay. That's that's pretty cool, that's powerful. It heals your entire team. It's a free action so you recover HP immediately. That's that's nice. And you don't expend any ATV. Okay, so that's how I survived that the boss battle in the beginning. So I wasn't paying attention. I think I should back you up first. Oh. Oh, the battle is so smart. Man. Oh, nice. Easy peasy. Oh, what the hell? That is not cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for harassment, dude. Well, yeah, I guess that's fair. She was about to let him just up and leave him by himself. So, I guess I can't totally fault him for <laughs> like trying to stop him from leaving. Because I think she would just would have just left him in the dust. 